If there is anyone that knows about swimming with wild dolphins, it's Bill Keefe. For nine years now, Bill has been in search of dolphins off the coast of Bimini, a tiny island 45 miles from Florida that is truly a yachtsman's paradise. A paradise so remote that I had to take a seaplane just to get there. When Bill goes searching for dolphins, he is never alone. Visitors from around the world come to Bimini and pay Bill to take them out with the hopes of swimming with dolphins. Researchers often accompany him to tap into his knowledge of the wild dolphin world. We, we basically do uh, a very predictive route at uh, time of day. Uh, and we let the dolphins come and find us if they want to come and swim with us. Yet swimming with dolphins is tricky. Remember, there are no cages or barriers in the ocean. The dolphins do as they please. No food or sounds are used to attract these underwater wonders, which means everyone on board may not even see a dolphin. Melanie, a dolphin scout, searches for the pod they've been visiting for years. Everyone on board, including myself, waits with anticipation. Then suddenly, the dolphins appear out of nowhere. Spotted dolphins now following us on all sides of the boat. A few Atlantic bottlenose also tagging along, swimming ahead of us and even chasing our craft. Sue Tholey is excited. She's been coming to Bimini every year for the past 11 years just to be with dolphins. But just because we found the pod does not mean we swim right away. What keeps these dolphins interested in us is the fact, believe it or not, they crave to chase our moving boat. Melanie waits for signs from the mammals that they are done with their game. With the dolphins now ready for us to enter the water, I follow Bill into the ocean. When I first get in, I clearly hear the clicking sounds that dolphins make to communicate. I'm amazed how close they come to my camera. There are as many as 10 swimming below me. Bill is an excellent free diver and noticed how he spins his body and the dolphins appear to imitate him. After a 15 minute swim, we return to the surface. Sue describes it as a spiritual experience. I love their grace. I love the way the energy feels. You really got to respect their distance. And when you do respect them and they, uh, they realize that you're not going to reach out and try and, and touch them or grab a hold of them, they will get very, very, very close to you. And getting close to mammals is what the Bimini Dolphin Swim is all about. In the Bahamas, I'm 10 News meteorologist Randy Rausch for Tampa Bay's 10 News. My goodness, Randy. It's amazing. That's Interesting, so huh? Cool. Yes. Yeah. Oh, what uh, was it like? A lot different than the captive programs uh, where you're swimming in sort of an enclosed area. A lot yeah. more freedom and you really learn a lot about what these dolphins do in the wild, where mm -hmm. they feed, how they move around. and. They've got a lot of freedom when they're out there. They can stay with you or they can take off and go away. Yeah. Were you ever afraid? A little apprehensive at times. Yeah, yeah I think so, mm -hmm. a little bit. Well, they're, they're rather large. They are large. And, and, and this is a good point we want to reiterate to people. This is not something you should do while you're in Tampa Bay and you're cruising around uh, with your boat. This <laughs> is a different circumstance mm -hmm. uh, as you do this in and around the uh, Bimini area. In fact, uh, what we have noticed is these are a different type of dolphins. These are not the uh, 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 bottlenose, these are the spotted dolphins. Yeah. Spotted dolphins out in the wild tend to be a little bit more friendly where the bottlenose dolphins mm -hmm. tend to be a little bit more standoffish. Mm -hmm. So this is not something you want to do when you're just around our area. Yeah. But down in the Bahamas, they have different rules, different regulations, and it truly, yeah. truly wow. is an amazing place.